Susanna, it's been over 15 years since your last solo album. Yeah. What took so long? The main thing that happened was that I reunited with the Bangles and I, I had this sort of shoebox full of cassettes of things I've been working on. I just kept back burnering it. You know, some, somewhere between juggling t being a mom and touring, being a Bangle and a mom and a wife and, uh, you know, just a person trying to get through the day, I didn't find the time. Did you have, uh, sort of in your mind, did you have a, a time carved out where you're like, one of these days I'm going to get to that third solo album? I, I kept thinking that, I knew I wanted to do it. It was like this almost painful, like... <laughs> agony that I just I, I just was desperate to do it but life just kept intervening you know the various school things and 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 people still ask me are the Bengals together it's just that we we tour all the time but we're quite under the radar we don't go out on those two-month bus tours like we did in the 80s because we all have kids so we're all juggling actually on the way here today um, we were listening to the 60s station on the satellite radio and I'm just always amazed at how emotional and melodic that music is. And I think that it's just a very special period of time when people weren't afraid to wear their heart on their sleeves. And I, that's when I grew up, that's when I fell in love with music. So I, I don't think you ever get over your first musical crush. I think, you know, it, that music was just unabashedly emotional. And that's kind of what I was going for with this. I have a very E.T. question. Okay. You look phenomenal. For 53. Is, for 53, which you're, you proudly state. Anyway. Yes, How, why not? What is your secret? Is there a secret? What is my secret? Okay, I think that I have fantastic parents and that I have inherited a youthful spirit and maybe some lucky, you know, oily skin from my father who's very olive like me. I think I'm, I've always been into staying fit since I was a little girl and I was a ballet dancer, jazz dancer. Um, so I, I'm out there walking every day, rain or shine. I'm, I'm a big fan of moisturizer. I always tell people, don't let your skin get dry. And that's about it, really. Looking back on you know, your, your Rich Bangles history, which you're still with them. But, yeah. Uh, do you look back in the 80s and you look back at some of these videos and do you cringe? Do you cringe? Um, I do cringe quite a bit. And YouTube doesn't help because you cannot escape it. You cannot escape your past now. You have to have a sense of humor about it. The fashion was in sometimes just dreadful. Do you feel like you fit in retrospect in the 80s? Or do you think the music, how much of it do you think is timeless and how much do you think is kind of a snapshot of that decade? Um, a little bit of both, actually. I think Walk Like an Egyptian has sort of been turned into a bit of an 80s anthem now and even at the time it struck me as a rather quirky song we were all completely confounded when that was picked as a single because as much as we thought it was a cool song we thought no one this doesn't sound like anything on the radio but that was always true a bit for the bangles um, it, we, we, we lived a little bit outside the box of what was going on in the 80s we weren't like that synthy sounding. There was a heavy synth sound, and there were these sort of monumental drum sounds that I listen to now. It sounds like a cannon going mm. off. I, I'm always. It makes me smile, though, and that's something. The '80s music makes me smile. There's something fun about it. Lying next to me, can you hear that sound of love never lost, never.
Are you just like a tumbleweed going round and round and round? I study every text until there was no rest, but still I yearn for your loving touch when I return. Could be like a melody going round.